Yo, what's going on everybody? It's SidePod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And this right here is my first impressions of NBA 2K14. Now, I'm going to be breaking this video up into two parts. The first part, I'm going to be breaking down a bunch of different clips of gameplay just to show you guys how things work in NBA 2K14. I may even try to give you guys a few tips. This is probably going to be one of the most anticipated videos and we're about to jump into it. I hope you're happy you're here. If you like this video, definitely give this thing a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Share it to your friends. Let them know what's going on over at 2K. What the devs need to do to fix this gameplay. Because trust me, a few things need to be fixed. So let's hop right into it, y'all. Now, the first thing that I need to say, the devs need to tweak the steals. There's no reason that steals should be happening where any body part that hits the ball jars it loose. I believe the only way to get a steal is for a defender to actually swipe at the ball. Now they also need to fix the angles. Price, he was not supposed to be able to get that angle driving only right where the defender was already held up at. They need to fix that a whole lot. Now computer AI, they still do not shoot the ball when they're open. You expect for somebody when you pass it to them to shoot the ball. Now, I let Gordon get an open shot, he didn't take it, and decided to take the longer shot from three after I passed it to him the second time. When you pass it to somebody on your team, they should automatically shoot when they're open. If it's more than three feet between you and a the defender, then you should shoot it yourself. Now, this right here was just to show you guys how fast the computer AI, which is your opponent, during a loose ball situation. Even during rebounds, in tips and loose ball situations, it seemed like the opponent is 10 times faster than you. Hayward, I, I, I don't know, man. It seems like the centers have 99 speed in a loose ball situation. Now, this right here is called the Phantom Double Team and Triple Team. No matter what you do in NBA 2K14, you're going to get double teamed. People are going to be swiping at the ball. And nobody's going to get called for a reaching foul besides you, the user. The computer can swipe at the ball all day long. They can slap you on the leg, slap you on the wrist, and it's going to be a no call. Now, that little clip right there was just to show you guys that the offensive player is still overpowered. Whether you like it or not, you can get past the defense unless somebody helps out. Now, check this out. I passed the ball tomorrow. He decided to wait 10 minutes before he took the shot. And he actually stepped up to the line like he was too far out. Like, bro, you got an over 80 like three-point rating. What is going on with you? Now, that right there was just to show you guys that I get bumped myself on offense. You, it's really hard to get past the defender. Now, this, see how I almost got the cookies? I'm going to show you one more time. Look at that. Almost got the cookies. Why is Hayward faster than everybody in a white jersey? It makes no sense. He's a center. He's not athletic. What's going on here? But I just had to show you guys that flashy pass. That's what I do. So uh, this next clip, this right here is just to show y'all that when a player has an assignment, he's supposed to do something, you expect him to do it. Anthony Davis cut to the basket and didn't finish by going under the rim. He stopped. And then I got a pick. And then on the other end, they throw it to an area where nobody is at. And somebody just magically pops up. Here, Right here is another assignment flaw. I tell him to roll to the basket. Guess what he does? He stops at the foul line. And that's why the turnovers happen. It's like you literally have to wait until these guys go all the way to the paint just to pass it to them. Now, that may be cheese, yes. But sometimes that's what you have to do to get an assist. Now, this clip is a little bit longer. That right there was just a nice little turnover from the Phantom triple team, double team effect. I'm going to do it again. When I was playing this game, I was labbing, thinking, you know what? That didn't happen. That wasn't real. So guess what? I get slapped on the ass, and it's another turnover. So trust me, the computer will swipe at the ball, whether you're backing down, whether you're just at the foul line. It's, that's like a no-fly zone. You can't go there. If you go there, just expect a turnover. Now, that right there, little kickball violation, you think it was nothing, right? No, he jarred the ball loose by knee kneeing it out of the dude's hand. Now, this clip right here, I would say it pissed me off a little bit, and I just wanted to show it. I tried to cheat over to help out on defense, but he passed out a shot, and Gordon got an open shot. But this right here is magical. From almost the other end of the court from the three-point line, Drew Holiday nails the full-court shot. 
okay, you guys think that's amazing. That's the type of gameplay you want to see. But that's not too realistic. <laughs> On net two, that thing was cash from the other end of the court. Now, I just wanted to show you guys how much quicksand I'm in when I'm on defense. Now, you guys may have not seen it, but this clip right here tells it all. I'm playing defense. They clear it out. Check out what happens here. It's like you you just don't react. I don't know why, but you just don't react. When a loose ball happens, your player's supposed to be on it. I ended up running the other way during the tip. For what reason? I don't know. I was just led there. Now, that was another quicksand effect. I, I ran up to Kimba Walker, but I stopped and he just ran right past me. Now, this right here is another prime example. Look how good our defense is running. I tried to get the steal, and Gordon even tried to get the steal, and it just didn't work. <laughs> I, I just don't understand why we are still in quicksand. But this right here is the last clip that I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys a little bit more overpower on offense. Tyreek Evans just forced his way into the paint, and there was nothing that the guy could do one-on-one -on -one with him. Now, this is the second part of the video where I can actually give you guys a little bit more insight on the game overall. Now, first thing I want to say is that the dunking system is terrible. It is totally out of whack. It doesn't make any sense. And I feel like people will just waste VC on dunk packages because you're gambling when you go in for a dunk. Now, what I mean by this is there's only one way for you to be able to dunk. You have to press RT and the right stick towards the rim. Now, okay, you guys are thinking, oh, that's cool. No, it's not because now you can't do a reverse dunk on command. You have to gamble with buying a dunk package, pressing the analog forward, and hoping that this guy does a reverse. Now, let me give you a little bit more facts. To do a floater, you press the right stick backwards, away from the rim. To do a floater again, you press RT with the analog away from the rim. So, why isn't RT and, and right stick away from the rim a reverse dunk? I can understand why the Euro is the right stick left or right, and the hop step is RT plus the right stick left or right. I can understand that completely. But why don't you make dunking right stick analog forward or backward dev team can, can i holler at you for a second can, can we patch that can you add that command in right now after the game has shipped can, can we have that because guys with reverse dunk packages they're not getting anything out of it you know what i'm saying even a couple more packages that have been removed flashy dunks um uh what not athletic 360 but between the leg 360s i haven't seen the dunk package have you i'm just saying also, floaters. Um, I did get a layup package. Um, I think I got either Harden. Now. I think I have Harden's uh, layup package. Now, I had Monte Ellis, right? So, I was trying to pick my floater, and I realized that I couldn't pick a floater. I don't know if you have to purchase a floater or if the floater uh, slot was gone when I edited my mod player, but I did not see it. Um, also, a big thing. The historic Jordan package. Now, since you're gambling with the dunk packages, I haven't seen anybody jump from the foul line yet. Even me and my boy Shakedown 2012 was talking, and was, it was like, he was like, "Yo, I've been in the lab for half an hour, and I haven't jumped from the foul line yet. He hasn't jumped from the foul line at all, not one time." And I'm like, "What? Are you serious? That's crazy." So, uh, you know, you're gambling with dunk packages. For what reason? We don't know. Um, LT was supposed to be the ultimate modifier. Now, it's no reason why RT should be the modifier for layups and dunks. I believe LT should still be that flashy passing. I don't think it should be LT and right stick in any direction. I think that it should be the left stick, where whichever way you you know you're you're uh, moving, uh, LT and then a button such as Y or B. I don't think it should be right stick. You want to know why? Because LT is the ultimate mo modifier. It's, I, I believe that Euros, hop steps, shots, dunks, everything should be with the LT button. I don't think that you guys should be thinking, okay, I have to press LT and right stick to pass, and then I have to press RT and right stick to Euro. It, that's too much work. It's too much thinking on a different scale. It's, it's just entirely too much. I have tutorials coming soon, but, you know, let me jump into something different. Let's talk about online for a minute. Cheesers are still here um i said it in my video that you know the euro steps and the leaning layups and all of that and the spins all of that is gone 
but nobody said anything about hop steps, euros, and momentum shots. All of that is still a little bit too cheesy. They're going to need to patch that. Online blacktop is terrible. It's just like NBA 2K13 with blocks and stamina. Now, I've probably only seen about three or four blocks, but guys are still spamming the steal button, getting steals, and it looks terrible. It's no reason why when you're playing on the blacktop, you don't have some type of authority. On my player pickup games from 2K11, you had a ref. You had calls. People did go to the line and shoot free throws. Playing to 21 is just terrible. We need a time limit. We need time. We need a ref. We need some type of authority out there on the court. Cruise is the same thing as blacktop. Either it be 3v3 or 5v5 five five with your team. It just it totally sucks, man, because when I played crew, I was like, yeah, we're about to go in. We're about to go ham. We went on the court. We went up against 599s. Okay, cool. I can work that. But what I can't work is me coming up the court, people spamming the steal button in the back court, and you're getting held up. It's nothing you can do. I was straight up getting held up. I'm like, oh, man, what's going on? How can I, how can I get past this? How can I get past that? Even with crossovers, it still didn't work. I could cross a guy over, and his partner might be right there, and the he'll spam the steal button after I do a crossover, and they're going the other way. There was literally one game where I had eight turnovers. And this, remind, mind you, it's only a game to 21. That's how crazy it's been getting online. But uh, I guess the last thing that I can say is the gameplay in a whole is completely different. Um, you don't feel like you're in quicksand on offense too much, but defense, there are still parts where you do get bumped by the offensive player. You do feel like you're in quicksand. And on loose ball situations, you're supposed to be much faster than you are. So I will probably rate this game about a 7.4. I, I, I can't rate it a 9.3. I probably have to rate it a 7.4 because there are things missing from this game. Straight up, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you guys and say this is the best game in the world. There are key pieces missing from this game, which either need to be patched in, added as DLC, or something because there's a lot of problems going on. So, uh, hopefully, you guys took a lot from this video. Um, one last thing that I will say if you want to create your own jump shot or even get a jump shot from the uh, the 2k store do not use quick release quick release will totally throw off all of your rhythm what happens is when you pick quick release every shot you take is modified for a quicker release may it be momentum out of the post just regular jump shot hop step everything is completely changed so you might as well leave it on normal you've been playing with normal for the last few years now don't try to jump out the gym and go with quick so uh, this is IKC signing out. My NBA 2K14 tutorials will come later today. But I just wanted to get this video out here because I know that a lot of people have been wanting to know what's going on with NBA 2K14 before they purchase. So current gen is a work in progress. I will not say that this game is completely done. It is a work in process, progress. And I believe that the dev team, if they do listen, they will be able to patch most of all of small minor problems with this game so uh this is ikc signing out and i'm gonna holla at you guys in the next video peace this is siri thank you for watching and be sure to like this video for more videos from this particular mode click more videos if you want to see more content from ikc click subscribe oh and don't forget to follow ikc on twitter and to like his facebook page this is siri signing out peace